Hi there Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 22nd through December 28th, the last week of 2014. And as we charge forward into 2015, the big news this week is the movement of Saturn. Saturn is the planet of focus, of life lessons, of responsibility, of growing up, of you know allowing life to creep into your life, other people's issues and big ticket items like buying real estate, having children, going back to school, moving overseas, life decisions that are important and that have long-reaching effects. Now it's moving into Sagittarius and for the next two and a half years it's going to be transiting your 10th house of career reputation, self-worth. The next two and a half years, Pisces, are a vital cog in your career life. This is the time for you to make moves. This is the time for you to get out of whatever work rut you've been in and, and really put yourself out there, whether that means you've got to go back to school and get a degree, whether that means you've got to move overseas for the job of your dreams or to you know, serve your time, mark your territory so you can come back to the job of your dreams. Sometimes you've got to do things you don't want to do. Maybe you've just got to, and you've got to grin and bear it, and you've got to realize that Saturn brings the good and the very bad along with him. He's often called the devil of the zodiac because Saturn can make you feel incredibly happy and high about one part of your life, which was is going to be for you, your career and your work, and very sad and despondent about another part of your life, which may be the fact that you know your relationship with your partner is suffering at the hands of your job or you're single and you haven't got time to mingle and so you're not meeting anybody. And that is often the... The, the reasoning behind online dating is that people say they don't have time to go to, you know, places to meet people. They're so busy working and they get to a certain age and everyone else is getting married and engaged and having babies around them. And they feel like, wow, you know. So I read a very interesting report that Match.com put out to say that their busiest day of the year for new people signing up for online dating is December 25th. And I was really shocked by that. And then I read how people get really lonely and sad around the holidays because if they're single and they don't have a lot of friends and family around, it's actually a very sad time. And so I want to say to you, to those Pisces who are single, who don't have family or very small family, who are almost dreading the holidays and wishing their lives were different and they had someone else's life. It's only a couple of days. Out of 365 days, it's, it's, it's three days or four days max where you may feel a bit of an outcast or you may feel lonely. Don't. Think of the upswing. The upswing is you're off work. The, uh, the phones are not ringing. You're not dealing with co-workers. You can, you know, sleep in. You can watch whatever you want on television. The roads are empty. And, you know, you can take over the city because there's no one much around. And once again, this time next week, you'll be thinking about the new year, what you're going to achieve, and you know that you have Saturn's backing in your 10th house, and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a lot of hard work, Pisces, but worth it. Have a great week, and I'll speak to you next week in 2015.